I wanted to rent a telephoto lens for my Elmont camera to film a concert, but I couldn't find any store in my country where I could rent Elmont lenses. Therefore, after this incident, I decided to buy a telephoto lens, but I wasn't ready to spend a lot of money on a lens that I will rarely use. What? So, I went to a site with a vintage lens database and tried to find a suitable lens. My choice fell on the Hanimax 80-200mm f3.5, which is about 50 years old. Also, I decided to choose M42 mount, as it is popular and many old lenses come with this mount. Then I found and bought this lens on eBay in good condition for 40 bucks. And the camera adapter cost me 10 bucks. And so I received my parcel, opened it, and cleaned the lens. And here it is. I bet, if you saw this lens in a store, you would never say that it is 50 years old. It is in such excellent condition. A quick review of the lens. Many vintage lenses have a built-in lens hood, which I like. Here we have a focal ring, a focal length ring, and an unusual for many mother lenses, a multiplication ring. What is it for? In theory, in this lens, it should change the minimum focus distance of the lens. For me, it doesn't work at all as it should. I think maybe this lens has already been repaired and something was mixed up because I see this screw here and I'm not sure if this is factory work. Sometimes, using the main focus ring, you will not be able to adjust the focus. Then, you will need to twist this ring. You can think of this as an additional focus ring. The lens also has a manual aperture setting. There is an aperture change mode that will not work on modern cameras, since it is mechanical, but if you set it to automatic, then your aperture will stop changing. So let's leave it in manual mode. This lens has its own feature. It blurs the edges of the image and adds aberrations but retains sharpness in the center. It gives such a dreamy look without effects. Now, before the test video, I will talk about the main disadvantages of most vintage lenses if you decide, like me, to save money. The first thing to consider is that we won't have afterfocus or other electronics. The second problem is that vintage lenses usually have bad lens coating and at certain angles of light, you may find that colors appear washed out or lose their saturation. Third problem. You need to manually set what focal length you are using for the sensor stabilization to work. With working stabilization, we see that a vignette appears, although the lens is full frame. You have two options, either disable stabilization or switch to crop mode. And finally, time for a test video. Of course, 
This lens is not suitable for serious projects, but for amateur projects or for shooting low activity events where you don't need afterfocus, this lens is quite good. I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and see you soon.